11. One suspect is in jail. At least one more is on the run after two shootings in two days near South Florida schools. Today, bullets hit a classroom as children sat inside. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live outside of Northwest Miami-Dade Jail where one suspect is being held. Hank? Yeah, you shoot at a school, you wind up in the jailhouse. That's what's uh, going on with the guy who was involved in the uh, Carroll City Senior High School shooting. He'll be in bond court again tomorrow morning. And then who did the shooting down by the Coconut Grove Elementary School? Miami cops, they're on the hunt for those guys. Let's take a look. A scene all too familiar. Once again, Miami-Dade Superintendent of Schools Alberto Carballo at a school shooting. This time, Coconut Grove's Francis Tucker Elementary. Unknown whether or not it's gang related. An exchange of gunfire between unknown individuals results in stray bullets penetrating this portable classroom. CBS 4's Peter Dench spoke to one student who was inside the portable classroom. What was the teacher saying when this happened? She told all us to get on the ground. Were you scared? Yes. But a close call. No word on possible suspects. If this community does not rise up and speak up against the code of silence that's killing or threatening our kids, this is not going to stop. Meanwhile, Miami Gardens clean up after yesterday's shooting at Miami Carroll City Senior High School. Police do bring down a suspect last night, initially charging him with possession of a firearm on school property. They were arrested for carrying a concealed firearm. Our first look at 18-year-old Cedric Admus. He, according to police, is a member of the Opelaka based 2100 gang. He is not a student at Miami Carroll City Senior High School. He produced a black firearm and discharged it in the direction of the school and students during dismissal. Bullets went into the school windows, and we now know wounding the intended victim in the hand. But the judge was not through with Cedric Adams. Firearm and the correct charge may be aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. So I'm going to bring a police officer in for a probable cause here tomorrow morning. He will be uh, at the uh, courthouse in the morning. So if you're tired of all this, uh, all this shooting around schools, you know something about it. 305-471-TIPS, that's Crime Stoppers. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News tonight.